Okay, you saw the pictures. Does this look intentional or does it look like an accident? What do you think? I think it looks intentional. Why? Especially with a straight line on the trunk. Okay, what do you think? Because it's in a straight line. The straight line really matters to you. What else? I think it looks intentional because there's, it's like a pattern. There's, there's lots of scratches there and it looks like there's letters there. There's well. And she puts her name in the car, or at least her nickname. Looks bad for the defendant to me. Going inside the courtroom, here's the judge. I was outside with my friends. And then my friend's mother calls her upstairs because she has to do something. So I sit on the car to wait for her. And then, I, and then um, one of my friends come by and calls me daylight and I get upset. And so what I did about like thinking or anything, I carve in daylight. What are you thinking? How old are you? Twelve. Okay, you're old enough to think. All right, you're not a five-year-old whose feelings are hurt by children who can be cruel. You are a 12-year-old who's angry and acting out against somebody else's private property. You know better. What did you end up doing when you learned about that? I mean, in terms of consequences for her? I mean, I realized that she was upset, you know? First of all, let me just say something to you. All your friends are wrong, all your friends' moms are wrong, and your mom is right. A 12-year-old has no business in the streets at dark, okay? So you're daylight, my three kids, I'm gonna start calling them daylight. All the kids I know, all my cousins are daylight, everybody's daylight, if their parents are watching them. So let's put that to one side. But what did you do when your daughter, when you find out about this? What, what, was she grounded? Was she punished? What, what, what? She was punished and she was told she could not go outside for three weeks. We, day or night. Real, like, it, day or night. All right, what are we gonna do about this? Did you offer to pay? Yes, we and did what offer happened? to pay. She came back with two estimates from around the corner, our neighborhood, think, for $800 each. I told her I would have to discuss this with my husband. What do you mean for each? Time. From both, do you have the estimates? Both estimates, she said $800. Oh, each exactly. one was, yeah, each eight, one said so it was a total of $800? Yes. Okay. One is $1,900, the other one is $1,500. I Where are the $800 estimates, ma'am? Uh, what it is, Your Honor, I went to the neighborhood, tried to make it easy for her. Did you show her an estimate of $800, yes or no? I do show her. It was a business card. Show me what you do have. So when she came to you with an estimate, what'd you do? My husband and I talked to her. Um, she got upset and said she was going to call the police. So she called the police. So the police came. Wait, wait. She got upset and said she was going to call the police. Why? Well, she felt because he got a, he's a tall man, he's a big I man, he's got a boisterous voice. She got a little up, he got a little upset. Well, then come on and up. she said, on, what said? <laughs> she said that, um, what happened there that she felt so intimidated? What happened was that uh, my daughter had admitted to me that she had did the daylight. And she said when she did the daylight, that the scratches wasn't on the car. Well, come on, but you don't really believe that, do you? Well, Truthfully, I think if she would have, if she would have did the scratches too, she would have told me that. She she, she admitted to the daylight. The daylight. You don't think it's just like a Bill Clinton thing going on? Like I'll admit as much as you catch me on. Uh, I, 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 maybe. I mean, daylight didn't care that we okay. catch her. Okay. Okay. All right. And I'm only using that name over and over again, so I want you to get over being offended by it, because you shouldn't. Uh, your other friends should be jealous that your mother cares about you and your father cares about you that they want you in after dark at your age at 12. In any event, let us discuss who the couple of parties are. Every state has different laws regarding parental liability, okay? In the state of New York, which is where you all are from, parents are only liable for bad acts of their children under certain limited circumstances. Say they know that their daughter is vicious, and every time she has a baseball bat in her hand, she turns around and bashes somebody's car, yet they put a baseball bat back in her hands. So even though the baseball bat can be used for baseball and for innocent reasons, they have reason to know that they shouldn't put a baseball bat in her hands. None of the instances that would cover parental liability kick in in this case. So they're out of the case. Now we have the case that you have against the daughter. All right? Now the case against the daughter, I got to figure out what a reasonable amount of money is to compensate her for this problem. I'm a little bit concerned that there was originally an $800 estimate that came forward. And I know there was not just because you say so, because you didn't take a copy of the estimate or anything else, but because she acknowledges that the original estimate was $800. And typically speaking, if there's an estimate for you know a smaller amount, the judge will take the smaller of the amount. You know, I'm not going to award you double the $800. I'm going to award you the $800 that it will take to fix your car, which was good enough for you then, and which you guys should have paid then. Verdicts for the plaintiff. Thank you.
talk to the defendants coming out. Come on over and um, tell me what you think of this judge's verdict. Well, I don't think she was being as fair as she possibly could under the circumstances. I, however, feel that the woman lied. About what? A, a lot of things. She well, told me things that... The bottom line for your family is, is the behavior of Daylight. Right. You think Daylight? Daylight, come on up. Let me ask you this question. I was going to ask your parents, but have you learned your lesson? Yes, pretty much, yes. Pretty much what have you learned? Mm, no. No, Sam. When you do bad stuff, you learn from your lessons, and that is going to cost, cost you. Okay, did you pay the price? Yes, very, yes, very much. All right. Uh, see Douglas right down, right down the hallway and around the corner, okay? All right, so $800. Are you satisfied with this verdict? I think it's all right. Mm -hmm. Yes, they just make a good decision on the right. case. All right, do you think uh, the problems are are over for good? I don't think it's over. What? I mean, the problem with us, yes, but yeah. I just going to be doing it. Because you need some psychological treatment. Uh, did you see what happened to Daylight? Would you ever do something like that? No. Harvey, over to you. Okay, Kurt, you know what? Suing a 12-year-old may sound crazy, but it may make sense for two reasons. Number one, usually the parent is going to pay the judgment if the 12-year-old gets sued and you win. But secondly, judgments are good for 10 years, sometimes even longer. And if you really persist, eventually you could end up getting your money. Right now it's